Well, <clears throat> we're over on the Walko Lake and the object of today's exercise is to make one of those, but with a straight thread on the end instead of the bent one, which is on this one. To that end, I have a piece of 12 mil bar in the collet chuck. I've marked off the overall length. So, but that's a, so I've got a mark on my bar so I know the overall length. So the first job is, this is 12 mil. So we're gonna turn this down to that diameter, which is just a fraction over 9.5 mil, which according to my digital micrometer here, means we've got to take off just over 97 thou. So we've got the work set up, zero out the dial on the cross slide. And we've got the lathe running at about just under about a thousand RPM, which is ideal for this size, obviously the steel. So we'll wind on a, a 20 thou cut to start with. Ha, let's get it. I'm not obviously not on zero, where are we? There we go. Right, that's zero there. Okay. Let's try again. 20 thou cut. Too bad. I'm going to keep going with this until we get down to diameter. Okay, we're down to uh, down to size. Um, I took, I did, I did the last uh, thou or so with um, some 400 grade wet and dry, so it should hopefully be a good fit now with the pulley. So there's our uh, pulley. So yeah, maybe maybe a shade more. I don't want to don't want to make it too loose. I mean that's that's quite free, quite free on there. I might I might make a little bit more off, but as, as you can see, we are pretty <laughs> pretty nearly there. Well, I think that's pretty good. I think that will do nicely. So the next job then is to square off this this edge here and then turn this down for the six mil thread. Okay, so that's that bit done. Okay, so I've got to take this down to just under six mil uh, over an eight mill length there which I've, I've marked and measured. I've had to change the angle of the tool because otherwise I can't get in there um, with it but that's all right uh, this is going to be threaded anyway so it doesn't the finish isn't too important on this end. So I've got to take 140 thou off so move on there 20 thou initial cut Slow feed and repeat and try not to hit the uh, rolling center. Well, I'll bring it back when I'm done. Okay, so we're down to size. So what we've got to do now is put a chamfer on the end. That just makes the whole business of cutting the thread a lot easier. Oh, 
Right, let's get the dies out. Okay, so this is the thread cutting setup. I'm maintaining pressure using the tailstock and uh, basically just rotating the headstock. And uh, I found this to be a very good way of... Uh, I mean, it, all right, yes, it's steel, but it's a bit difficult to do it with my left hand, but if I use my right hand, you won't be able to see what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> yeah. No, yeah, it, it's it, it it this is a really easy. Um, there we go. And there you go, I think we're pretty much there. Yeah. Let's take that off. And reverse the process. Oh, what I will do now is I will reverse the die <coughs> in the holder and run it down again. That will allow me to get threads up closer to this shoulder. I'll probably put a small undercut on it anyway because we do want this to go flush up. When this is screwed in we want it to go flush up against the shoulder um, of the casting in the, on the bandsaw. But uh, there you go. One very nice thread. Spot on. So all that's left to do now is to part it off so that we've got a little shoulder on this end. This is going to take the place of the circlet which would be in the original. Which would be in the in that groove around the end, but we're not going to do that. And then, of course, I'll have to reverse it, put it in a smaller collet to cut the sock in this end. Well, the new pin is made, and I'm going to count it as a success. There you go. It is actually slightly, I, I cocked up a little bit, it's very fractionally longer uh, than the than the original but that's not a problem I can use a washer to uh, space it out so let's see if it actually fits and works Right. I don't think there's anything much, much wrong with that. Like I said, it's a fractionally too long. So there, there is about, I don't know, a millimeter of, 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 of play that way. But a washer will take that out nicely. But at least that's in there and it's square. That's the important thing and it runs true. Yay, result. On to the next bit. <laughs>